Greetings fellow YouTubers, Irv Lindsay here. How the heck are you? Welcome to another gardening video. In today's video I want to show you um, my grow station setup. When I do indoor seedlings, I'm going to show you what I do it on and how I do it and some of the equipment I use because you guys know I have a pretty low budget setup to things. It's not professional, it's not the best, but I've used it a couple of years in a row and it worked pretty good. So check it out. A lot of you guys found me because you watched my uh, milk jug gardening videos and I wanted to show you another way to do seedlings other than milk jug gardening now you can do indoor seedlings and what I have here is I have a just a run-of-the-mill plastic shelf it's a uh, two foot by three foot but you can get them higher and you can get them longer um, this this one works well for me you can get um, these little seedling trays you can get them that have 50 different cells they're very big this is all I have left mine actually got messed up and I had to throw it away but I've also used the peat pots in the past these work really well just remove the netting from them before you plant them because the netting doesn't actually go away it traps your roots in a little bundle so before you plant it rip the netting off and I do all of my basic growing for my seedlings on the bottom level and most things stay on the heat mat you will encounter things from time to time that do not like heat and um, you just got to pay attention to your seedlings and what germination rate they need because this heat mat will put off between 80 and 90 degrees and if you have something that needs a little cooler temperature it won't germinate on this so be it, pay attention to the germination temperatures of your seeds um, so once things start sprouting I move them to the next level. Now let me show you the reason why I like this and I'm going to show you what I do in just a moment but it'll take me a minute to set it up. So as you can see I've taken the top off and I've clamped a clamp light onto this. Now I'm not going to lie <laughs> this is a little tricky because those grips are a little slippery on this plastic material but if you put it right on the top like that it'll catch and I just run the wire over the back and that seems to give it just enough of a counterbalance weight with that that wire hanging off the back to create a grow light now clamp light and what type of light are you gonna get well now look once again <laughs> you know this is a Phillips and this is this is now that I bought these this has been two or three years I bought these it's a uh, 100 watt equivalent 23 watt fluorescent now you can get 150 watt possibly stick up in there but there's only a 23 watt bulb so it doesn't put out a lot of heat that's the important part there's two things you want to look for when you're looking at a grow light number one you see right there where it says 6500 K that's your frequency that's your daylight frequency you can get a 5000 or a 5500 even a 6000 but that 6500 that is your magic number that is your most like daylight frequency light and your 1600 lumens that's how bright it is you want the, that lumens to be as high as possible at that 6500k now I still get plants that are a little leggy using this setup not gonna lie um, you should be seeing some footage of some of the seedlings I've grown using this method. Um, they get a little leggy, but you know what? <clears throat> They'll work just fine. And you can see one year I had, I just put them in this tub. It helps contain the water because you do want to water them. Um, and it allows me to grab them and put them out on the porch to harden them off. Um, so I usually will have everything on a tray. I can just grab and run. And um, I usually have a couple of clamp lights on each corner, so I have multiple light from multiple directions so the seedlings grow straight, otherwise they grow towards the one light. Something else you can do is I have this uh, baking pan that I bought that came with this plastic lid. And what you can do is you can put, fill this with some um, potting soil. You can plant your plants in it, plant your seeds in it. Um, you can put it down here on your heat mat. And you can use it the same way as you would this mini greenhouse Jiffy pellet tray. Um, you want to research your plants 
most vegetables, except for cucumbers and squash and melons and, and um, zucchini, they don't like their roots messed with. But like tomatoes and peppers, you know, you can gently separate each of the plants. As long as you don't cut the tap root, they transplant fine. It's the same idea as when you use a milk jug. Um, so you, you can definitely, you can get this, you can use this. I don't know where I saw that. I know I didn't make that up. Somebody else recommended it online. It worked great. I used it. You also want to have a timer because you're going to plug your, your, um, your light and possibly your heat mat into the timer. Um, you know, you can just leave the heat mat on all the time. Um, I know that I set my, my light for, for 12 hours on 12 hour cycles. Uh, maybe slightly longer than that when the, when they're seedlings, but then you can it'll click on and off and you know it's a set it and forget it system as long as you water them and keep them moist you're good don't overwater that's my big problem in life. <laughs> Now, for watering, what I do is I get one of those little gallon size hand pumps and I put water in it. You know, the ones like you would put chemical in to spray on stuff around the house. Um, well, I have one that's used just for watering. And, um, you know, I keep it pressurized and I just use it to keep my seedlings moist when they need a little bit of water. Uh, and that keeps me from spilling mostly. But I do have a towel down here. You might have noticed it, it was laying underneath the timer. This in case I need to mop up a spill because <laughs> things still spill. All right, guys, that's it. I do have another part of my grow station. I've kind of run out of time, and um, I'm going to actually do another video on a special grow area that I made, and you can make it too. Look for that in a new video. It's made with cardboard, a mirror, and a Mylar blanket. Yeah. All right, so look for that in a new video. On my channel coming soon, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Everybody enjoy the rest of your week. Keep fighting a good fight, and I'll see you in the next gardening video.